This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Hey, if you're going to be in Raleigh, or if you're from North Carolina, if you're going to be around the Raleigh area this weekend, Brittany Page and I will be speaking at the Triangle Free Thought Society in Apex, North Carolina. I'll put a link to the Facebook uh, event below, and also this is it on screen. Um, we'd be happy to, to see you. We're going to be giving a talk about, I don't even know what Brittany's going to be talking about. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be talking about yet, but uh, it's going to be a good time and we would love to see you. Let's talk a little bit about um, Robert Kennedy Jr. A liar, an anti-vaccine ghoul, someone who with his misinformation and disinformation and absolute lies and propaganda endangered the lives of millions of people who might be receptive to his his uh, disinformation about vaccines uh, during the pandemic. And then when he's asked about it, he lies again and again and again. Well, I'm going to get to that clip. But yesterday he was on with Aaron Burnett on CNN and he said something about as stupid as you can in, in today's political environment but also really just showed himself to be a shill for Donald Trump, working in league to, for Donald Trump to try to get him elected. He was asked about election denying and about attempts to overthrow uh, democracy, about who's the bigger threat to democracy. And he said that he believes Joe Biden, if it's a binary choice, Joe Biden is the larger threat to democracy, not Donald Trump. I'm going to play this clip and I want you to prepare yourself because there's a lot of people out there right now who are lending credibility to the candidacy of Robert Kennedy Jr., who is a train wreck of a garbage human. Of all the garbage humans, he's the most train wrecky. He poses a real threat to Americans. There is a, a, an information deficit among some individuals who, who seek treatment and answers outside of, of normal channels. People like um, Steve Jobs, who died of cancer after not seeking traditional medical treatment early enough. He sought alternative treatments first, and it led to his demise. Several people go down this road, and as someone who was diagnosed with cancer two years ago and sought traditional medical remedies and treatments and was healed, it's close to my heart. And to promote anti-vaccine lies during a deadly pandemic, and not just lies about the vaccines, but lies about 5G and Bill Gates being the ultimate evil, trying to control us with microchips and try to get into our bank accounts and just wild insanity from someone who now wants to ride his family's name to a, to a presidential run. None of them, by the way, are on, the, on board with it. He's just a liar and a grifter, and he's, he's shown himself time and time and time again to be working in league, at the very least, uh, carrying water for Donald Trump and conservative thought. Here he is saying that it's Joe Biden that's the threat to democracy, not Donald Trump. And I want you to pay attention real quickly here. Pay attention to how he categorizes Donald Trump's to over, uh, overturn a free and fair election. He calls it uh, questioning the results. A moment ago, you said you you essentially see Trump and Biden as the same, different different issues. But do you really believe that when people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is 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 an equal yeah, evil I mean, to I, Biden? I, I mean, listen, I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. And the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. I, you know, I can say that because I just won a case in the Federal Court of Appeals and now before the Supreme Court that shows that he started censoring not just me. 37 hours after he took the oath of office, he was censoring me. No president in the country has ever done that. The greatest threat 
a democracy is not somebody who questions election returns, but a president of the United States who used the power of his office to force the social media companies, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to open a portal and give the access to that portal to the FBI, to the CIA, to the IRS, to CISA, to NIH, to censor his political critics. President Biden, for the first first president in history, to use the secret, his power over the Secret Service, to deny Secret Service protection to one of his political opponents for political reasons. He's weaponizing the federal agencies. Those are really critical threats Donald to democracy. Donald Trump, of course, tried to overturn a free and fair election. He tried to overturn one, right? He's, he's still fighting in court. Yes. He's a, how is that not a threat to democracy? Well, I think that is a threat to democracy. If he, he, him overthrow, trying to overthrow the election clearly is a threat to democracy. But the, the question was, who is a worse threat to democracy? And what I would say is, I, you know, I'm not going to answer that question, but I can argue that President Biden is because the First Amendment, Aaron, is the most important. Adams and Hamilton and Madison said, we put the guarantee of freedom of expression in the First Amendment because all of our other constitutional so, rights depend on it. If you have a government that can silence its opponents, it has license for any atrocity. So it, just to be clear, you're saying you could make an argument that President Biden is a worse threat to democracy than, than Donald absolutely. Trump. That's what you just said. But who else has so, ever tried to who else has ever tried to send what president in history mm-hmm. has ever tried to censor political opponents? What president in history has ever tried to to silence political opponents? Have you seen this picture, RFK Jr. of Donald Trump holding up a Bible after having gassed peaceful protesters, opponents, political opponents of his, gassed them into submission and silence, cleared them from the street so he could walk across the lawn for his little photo op. I wonder who's done anything like that. Who is now campaigning on retribution against my political opponents? Who could that be? I just, I wonder, I wish I had the answer here in front of me just so I could answer this question that I just don't know the answer to. Dipshit. First of all, anything, anything that RFK Jr. says can be absolutely discounted and discarded out of hand because he is a liar. He is a bold face bald face, whichever the term, liar. Here's another clip from CNN just a month or two or three months ago where he's asked about something he said about vaccines. He says, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And they say, well, hang on. Let's cut to the clip. You have gained notoriety for your skepticism about vaccines. And over the summer in an interview, you said, quote, there's no vaccine that is, you know, safe and effective. Do you still believe that? I never said that. So stop me. We have the clip. Please play the clip. Uh, um, there's no vaccine that is, you know, safe and effective. So if that is the level of honesty he's bringing to his dialogue, come on. Donald Trump is clearly a threat to democracy. He attempted to overthrow the United States government by way of overturning a free and fair fair election. To categorize what Donald Trump did as questioning election returns is working in league with Donald Trump. It is carrying water for a fascist. Donald Trump just didn't question the results, the returns. RFK Jr., Donald Trump entered into a conspiracy, a wide-ranging national conspiracy in disparate states all across the republic to to, uh, have fake electors send in their votes for him to the Congress, whereby Mike Pence could not certify the election because, oh, we just don't know what's happening here, and then send it to the courts in an effort to overturn the results. A seditious conspiracy was entered into to to have that happen at the United States Capitol using force during the insurrection. But it's Joe Biden who's the threat. Huh. This is a spoiler campaign. RFK Jr. knows he has no shot, not just based on the fact that he doesn't believe that that AIDS is caused by a virus, that it's some other thing. It's vaccine related. That's where where AIDS came from and HIV. 
He's a whack job. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's a liar. He is the worst of the worst of the worst. And he's using family coattails and the last name Kennedy to try to make it happen. Thankfully, there's enough reasonable people out there who know who he is, who, who, who've punched his card, who have his number, who know exactly what he's about. But this is what we've got in 2024. The, the, the weight of the gravity of the grift of Donald Trump is so, it's, it's so appealing to so many people that they want to get in on the action too. And that's what we're witnessing with RFK Jr., the liar. What do you think? I'd love to know. I still want to get my squeaky chair fixed. Seven one four five seven six forty fifty four. That's where you can reach me. Leave me a brief voicemail. You can also uh, email me daily at dollamore.com. Come for me, RFK Junior fans. I'm right here. Uh, if you appreciate what I do and you want to help support this work, you can click the join button below this video for two dollars a month. You can help support this work, produce this work. You can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast. Same rules apply there. I'd love to see you. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And if you're around in North Carolina this weekend, we'd love to see you there too. Uh, I love and appreciate you. Thanks for your engagement. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.